I believe that there is one component in the government's thinking about the need for a nuclear renaissance is there is the link to the military nuclear program. I really don't think it was a coincidence that the uh, Trident renewal and the decision to go ahead with the uh, new nuclear build uh, came within a few months of each other. A great opportunity for uh, for nuclear disarmament was missed by the UK and of course it sets a very bad example. But the other way in which it's important is, that is the whole details that we don't know about, about in the uh, renewal, hidden in the fact that the uh, US-UK military mutual defence agreements are, are secret. The UK-US tie-up over Trident, the fact that we get the missiles even if we develop our own warheads, is a complete violation of the spirit of the non-proliferation treaty and encouraging uh, states around the world to, to go for the, uh, the same sorts of deals. So certainly if there's to be a nuclear arrival worldwide, uh, then it's a wonderful, uh, sadly, a wonderful ambiguity to be developing a civil nuclear program to keep your weapons uh, options open, uh, as indeed uh, uh, North Korea did and Iran may be doing so. So on both sides, in terms of our example and in terms of pushing civil nuclear t technology, uh, I, I, think, uh, I think we're sending all the wrong signals uh, out to the rest of the world in, in uh, reviving our civil nuclear program at the same time as we revive our, our military uh, nuclear activities. Renewables, wind and photovoltaic solar electricity in particular, are rising in certain countries uh, far faster uh, than, uh, than nuclear is ever capable of doing. They can do the job and do it much more, uh, much more quickly. That, that's the vitally important point. Let's just look at the UK and just look at solar which supposedly uh, not one of our strengths, uh, but in fact comparable, we have a comparable uh, solar resource in the U in the England and Wales anyway to, uh, to Germany. Um, now uh, in the UK, around seven um, times as much solar energy falls on the buildings in the UK as the electrical energy consumed inside. Uh, that says, in, in other words, if you had the current technology, uh, which is uh, somewhere around 14-15% efficient, the, the sort of solar cells that you see on um, uh, road signs at the moment in the UK or all over the Germany if, when you go and visit them, those, the current generation of, uh, of, of uh, solar cells which are expanding so fast in Germany it's about a uh, a uh, nuclear reactor's worth a year. Uh, if you had those solar cells and covered the, the roofs and, and south facing walls of, uh, uh, of every um, building in the country, uh, you could generate all the electricity that was needed inside. So, so solar, can, solar can do the job, um, it could do it all completely, and I'd just like to push from my own perspective the technology that my colleagues and I are working on has solar cells that are twice, uh, produces solar cells that are at least twice as efficient. So basically, we're, we're saying you don't have to cut, with these, you won't have to cover every south-facing wall. You could, you, could, you could just cover the windows uh, in, in smart blinds, which is one of, our, one of our approaches. My fear is that this, the nuclear renaissance is going to slow even further. I mean, we're slow enough in this country in employing the renewables, but a nuclear, Renaissance is going to slow down uh, the exploitation, put us even further behind Germany and, uh, and uh, Japan, and uh, because it will divert from uh, from from the renewables, and because the basically the um, uh, the government won't be implementing the sorts of policies that uh, 
uh, that the German government has in, 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 in pushing, being, giving the initial impetus and then allowing the market to take over. Another point I'd like to make on that is to point, point out that, that nuclear will never have a market. The UK, in, in, the, in the 30, 40 year history of the UK civil programme, has, 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 um, has exported two reactors in that whole time. There is no market there. It's too, they're too big, too costly. Uh, there has to be government in, in, intervention on the waste uh, 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 to, uh, to, to, to pay the price of the waste. It will never be a market in which prices are driven down in the same way as is happening in the renewables uh, and the photovoltaics and wind in particular. The market is taking over. People are putting their own money into it. You, people are not. People want to buy a, a PV system for their house. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to buy shares in a nuclear reactor. Um, and so let let's let the market take over and uh, let's provide the incentives to get the market going, and then it will take up, uh, increase exponentially, as indeed it is in Germany and many other countries, uh, exponential um, increase in the use of the renewables which certainly will then be able to do the job far, far more quickly than, than, 